how technology can be involved into what is traditionally just a, a spoken tour. Um, the biggest change is actually changing the perception of what a guided tour or what a staging tour, what a visit could actually be. Um, it does take a long time. The industry is very, very uh, basic to what we want to do. You, you go to a Buckingham Palace tour, which was opened up last week. It's never going to be a high technology tour because it doesn't fit the actual people that are going to go on the experience. Stadium tours are changing. Uh, for any of you that have done any of the stadium tours recently as well, you'll see that uh, what was also originally what we call audio guides have now become multimedia handsets. Um, it's the change of technology. It's not about walking around and putting an earphone in and never talking to anyone again. It's about walking around and using the handset and the technology to bring to life the experience. And that's kind of where, over the last three, four years, I've really evolved with what we can develop. Um, using it, and now you'll see most premiership stages will develop that kind of technology using um, multimedia with things like shirt cam, where you can bring AR to life. Um, so it's not just about the football fan going on to go and see a shirt in the changing room, it's about a non football fan wanting to use a bit of technology in their hand to entertain themselves whilst the other person wants to just take a selfie with the shirt. Moving into the attractions, what I do now, um, I've moved to up at the O2. Um, it's a great attraction if anyone's interested in doing it. Um, especially on a day like today. But um, when I got there, my worry was that I couldn't bring over what we do inside stadiums with technology into a, an outdoor attraction. What we can do inside uh, stadiums is you can theme it, you can have if a team wins the league, you can, if a team wins the trophy, if a player does well, you can theme it really, really quickly. Mine is a walkway. You go up, you stand on the top, you come down the other end. Um, ultimately, that's the, what the product is. So my job is to see what can technology do to bring into attractions. Some of you might have been to um, attractions um, like viewing towers that then bring in technology with AI, um, AR, VR. A lot of that is there to kind of enhance the, the product and that's kind of my job now is to see how technology can actually be developed into an outdoor attraction to find the pinch point of not doing it as Mike said and it's the line we use all the time, don't bring technology in for the sake of technology. Um, it's actually having the reason for what we want to do and my job now is to work with people like uh, Mike and, and companies to develop an outdoor attraction with technology to enhance the experience but not make the experience just about that technology. So we're trying to find that nice pinch point between enjoying the walk, enjoying the views, achieving something, but then I would like to now take it to that new level and bring in the stadium tour aspect into the attraction as well. <laughs>